I'm going to be reading to you from the authorized version of the scriptures. You know, that perfect, inerrant, given by inspiration word of God, King James Version referred to as. You see, Eric, lying heart, This is perfect. This corrects me. I don't correct it. Saints, brethren, follow along. You devils, especially you, you send your little stupid minions over here. These poor people that you have deceived. You lying filth. You filth. Got your attention? Hmm? Oh, what are you going to say? I don't have any love, right? You love them and cheer them on as they're falling off of a cliff. You're egging them on to fall off of a cliff and go to their death. All the saints show love, warning them of the danger that you are. You ain't saved. Virtually a babe, every babe ought to be able to see that. But there are some out there who are seeking whom you are deceiving. And this is the final rebuke to you, you scoundrel devil. Okay? I'm not going to name, put your name in the title or any links like that. That's, that's for a little sissy coward like you to do. Yeah, yeah. Who's the coward, huh? I have emails where it's just you and me talking, tough guy. But no, what do you need? You need an audience, don't you? You need a hundred people to back you up. You're a whore, Eric. You're a whore. You're a whore of the Vatican. <clears throat> John chapter 8, just one verse. Verse 44, ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, yea, hath God said, <clears throat> and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. It comes out of his own heart. A lying heart. Uh-huh. Isn't that cute, huh? For he is a liar and the father of it. Hmm. Today is the 23rd. I encourage brethren to at least read a proverb a day. At least. You ought to read more. But I encourage brethren to at least read the proverb for the corresponding day. This month has 31 days. There are 31 Proverbs, okay? That's a good start, okay? That's a good start. Yes, you ought to read more than just a proverb a day. But, prayerfully, slowly searching the scriptures daily, whether these things be so, more fruit comes from a brother or sister who at least is in a proverb a day than anyone falling for your tripe. And I, I, and I feel bad for some of those people. Not all of them. Not all of them. You have your mindless minions who come here and, and drop 20-page dissertations trying to explain heresy. Yea, hath God said, bread and wine. Give me a break. Give me a break. Proverbs 23, verses 1 on to verse 7. Y'all a bunch of devils. You're my enemy. And I'm your enemy. You hate my father. And you know what? I hate your father. Your father is the devil, Eric. Ain't it time for you to go to that hot bed that awaits your boy? <gasps> That's not what that... People, listen to me. Eric Lionheart has made his choice. 
He is openly deceiving people, and he is openly defending the Vatican by telling you that you can't prove in Re uh, Revelation 17 that that's Rome. God proves it, you lying devil. That, that man is not ignorant. Those are the workings of a lost devil. You've been warned. But no, you want y'all want to follow him? Go ahead. Go ahead. He's guiding you straight to hell, people. He's guiding you straight to hell. The Proverbs 23. Verses 1 on verse 9. With a little expository here and there. There'll be links in the description box where we go off on these kind of things. Uh, two rulers defiled by the king's meat. Okay? What king? When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee, and put a knife to thy throat. If thou be a man, give it to appetite. Verse 3. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meats. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 2. 2 Peter chapter 2. 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 17 on verse 19. These are wells without water. Clouds that are carried with a tempest. To whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, having all this fancy rhetoric that they use, all these theological terms, yeah, yeah, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. Any of you, this man's disciples who may see this, you need to get away from this man. This man is a devil. He is defending Rome. He is defending Rome. Okay? This man is an enemy of God. You need to get away from him. Okay? While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same he is brought in bondage. Of the same he is brought in bondage. Okay? Be not desirous, uh, back in uh, Proverbs 23, verse 3. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. The things that come out of that man's lips, I have given that man way too much of my time. And I'm done with it. Okay? I'm done with it. Okay? I am. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. See, a guy like that, in Ezekiel chapter 28, Ezekiel chapter 28, a guy like that holds to the traits of his father Satan. Ezekiel 28, verse 17, one verse. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. Hmm. This guy, okay, this guy, number one, he demotes Jesus Christ, okay? Number two, he does not rightly divide the word of truth. Okay? <laughs> All right. That, that's obvious. That's obvious. Number three. He is against eternal security. Once saved, always saved. Okay? Number four. Number four. He defends the Vatican by telling you that by stupid statements such you can't prove in Ro uh, Revelation 17 that that's the Vatican. God proves it. You're calling God a liar. You're calling God a liar. Number five, 
the number of death, he exalts himself above the Word of God. He goes to the Greek to correct the perfect Word of God, which he doesn't believe is perfect. He is his own standard. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. And guys like this, guys like this, people, you, you, you got to watch out for these guys. Get away from these people, okay? Because in 2 Timothy chapter 3, just one verse, verse 5, this wicked devil, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. This guy denies eternal security. Once saved, always saved. Eternal security is as it is laid out in Ephesians chapter 1. You are sealed until the day of redemption. You are sealed with the Holy Ghost. The Lord is that spirit. The power thereof that is being talked about there is the Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father himself, which this devil, Eric, the lying heart, does not have. He's not saved. He is a devil. Okay? He's lost. And he's a whore. He has, he has to have an audience. He does things. He struts his stuff upon the stage. He needs an audience. He's lost, people. He's a devil. Okay? There is no truth in him. He is as his father, the devil. Get away from him. And the wisdom that he has. Oh, he, he captivates you because he sounds so eloquent. He uses, you know, fancy terminology, theological terms, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, well, what wisdom does this man have? I'll tell you. Well, I won't tell you. No, I won't. I will not tell you. The Lord will, through the scriptures. He will tell you. Okay? James. James chapter 3. James chapter 3, verses 13 on verse 18. Who is a wise man uh, who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him shew out his good conversation with works, with works, with meekness of wisdom. Wisdom! And unto man he said, The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Okay? Alright? What wisdom is in this man? Alright? But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, that's all that channels like that, these streaming Christians that are whores and takes on everybody into conversation and fellowship with them. Whore! Hey, Eric. You're a whore. Just like your mother, the Vatican. You're a whore. Okay? But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. And man is made of dirt. We're going we're to look at that here in a little bit. Hmm? For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Okay? The wisdom, the fear of the Lord is without hypocrisy. Mankind, unless you're some of these perfect creatures, we have moments, we have times when we are hypocrites. Yes, we do. Okay? Yes, we do. Alright? And see, this man has a feigned kind of gentleness. A gentleness where he's lying to you. Where he pisseth upon your back. Just as you're about to fall off the cliff, cheering you on as you go. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. I am for peace. But see, when these devils speak, they are for war. Because we are at war right now, brethren. We are, if you haven't noticed. 
Okay? How would you know when you're following a whore like Eric Lying Heart? Lord rebuke thee, devil. Hurry up and go to your hot bed and get out of the way. That's not very Christ-like. You're right. You generation of vipers! You foul serpents! How can ye escape the damnation of hell? There, is that a little better for you? Being Christ-like, huh? Back to Proverbs chapter 23, verse 5. And I, I, I like this tie-in. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? I find that very interesting. Uh, Revelation chapter 17. Revelation chapter 17. Yeah. Verse 8. Just one, eight, uh, one verse. The beast that thou sawest was, and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition. They that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. Three books in the description box. Check that out. Check that uh, video out. One of my personal ones that I that I enjoy doing that the Lord gave me to do. Okay, back to Proverbs twenty three verse five again. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not, promising you liberty, and the love, the wisdom that this man has is of the devil. For riches certainly make themselves wings; they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Now, see, go to 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 5. We automatically think of riches as tangible money, right? A guy like that, what's our, what are his riches? Popularity, fame, an audience, okay? Riches are more than just money, okay? You've got to remember that. 1 Timothy chapter 6, 1 verse, verse 5. Verse 5. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, like Eric Lying Heart, okay? And destitute of the truth. Supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. Context? He's talking about, yes, that type of gain, yes. But you got to remember, it's more than just that. This guy needs an audience to do anything, okay? All right? He takes everybody on, always. He's a whore. He is a whore. Eric, <laughs> lying heart, you're a whore. You're a whore. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards heaven. Toward heaven, excuse me. Ezekiel chapter 16. This is what guys like this Eric Lionheart does. This is them specifically. Ezekiel chapter 16, verses 31 to verse 34. How weak is thine heart, saith the Lord God, seeing thou doest all these things, the work of an imperious, whorish woman. Just like your mother, the Vatican, Roman Catholicism. In that, in that thou buildest thine eminent place in the head of every way, and makest thine high place in every street, and hast not been as an harlot, in that thou scornest hire, but as a wife that committeth adultery, which taketh strangers instead of her husband. You people want a good rebuke about being on live streams and just accepting everybody in, okay? They give gifts to all whores, but thou givest thy gifts to all thy lovers and hirest them. 
that they may come unto thee on every side for thy whoredom. And the contrary is in thee from other women in thy whoredoms, whereas none followeth thee to commit whoredoms. And in that thou givest a reward, and no reward is given unto thee. Therefore thou art contrary. Contrary. Back to Proverbs chapter 23, picking up at verse 6. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainties. People, this guy's a liar, he's a devil. Okay? The core doctrines of the saints, the faith that was once delivered on to the saints, this man is against and rejects. He is his own God. Stay away from him. Stay away from him. Verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Mr. Eric Lying Heart. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Here's a good description of this devil. Isaiah chapter 14. Which I'm sure this nitwit would say, well, the Hebrew word there is, Yea, hath God said, You, everything that you were warned about this devil, he's done! But do you want to go ahead and defend that? Why, because he's your friend? Because he gives you a platform and he, he talks nice to you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Isaiah 14. Verses 12 and verse 15. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? And this idiot, he would probably say, well, that's morning star, and try to shut up. The Lord rebuked thee. Here's him. Just like his father the devil. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Because, you, you know, you're, you're, you've got intellect and you've got all these words you use. And you're smarter than God that you can correct what he has preserved. Yet, Thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Let's finish up on to verse 9 in Proverbs 23. The morsel which thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up and lose thy sweet words. And here's a sad part. A warning to us, saints. When you got these people who are so deceived, who will defend the devil, Speak not in the ears of a fool. The fool says in his heart there is no God. They are their own gods. For he will despise the wisdom, the fear of the Lord. Preaching to them the fear of the Lord. For he will despise the wisdom of thy words. You've been warned. Through Scripture. But see, that's the thing nowadays. Men are lovers of their own selves. All we can do is warn them, brethren. And if they don't, it's, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make the horse drink the water. Even if you take a twitch and smack it upside its head, where it goes, <laughs> you know. And you, I pity you. I do. I really do. I do. Because you are choosing 
poison and fending it. How weak is thine heart? Uh, go to Ezekiel chapter 19. Go to Ezekiel chapter 19. It's just going to be a very quick video because uh, I, I don't know. I, being in this position, you sometimes have to endure with these people in order to warn the body of Christ. Okay, that is part of the deal. Okay, that's something you have to do when the Lord has put you in this position. A position like this okay you have to be aware of these people and uh, just like with that that whore Roma Roma's army Roma Downey <laughs> Roma's army you know I, I, I gave that whore a whole bunch of my time too and like I did this disgusting vile devil filth okay that's it Ezekiel 19 verses 1 on verse 7 Moreover, take thou up a lamentation for the princes of Israel, and say, What is thy mother? A lioness? She lay down among the lions. She nourisheth, she nourished her whelps among the young lions. Verse 3, pay attention to this. And she brought up one of her whelps. It became a young lion. And it learned to catch the prey. It devoured men. Note that. Verse 4. The nations also heard of him. He was taken in their pit. And they brought him with chains unto the land of Egypt. Now when she saw that she had waited. And her hope was lost. Then she took another of her whelps. And made him a young lion. Verse 6. And he went up and down among the lions. Oh, Satan kind of walks to and fro in the earth. Mm -hmm. He became a young lion. And learned to catch the prey. And devoured men. Verse 7. And he knew their desolate places. And he laid waste their cities, and the land was desolate, and the fullness thereof, by the noise of his roaring. You look at verses 3 and 6. <laughs> yeah, 3 and 6. This thing about devouring men, Genesis chapter 3, verses 14 and 15. Genesis chapter 3, verses 14 and 15. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Satan, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all thy day, all thy, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Hmm, that, that's interesting. Why? Why is that interesting? Why is that interesting? Well, simply because go to Matthew, go to Matthew chapter 16, just one verse. Matthew chapter 16. One verse. One verse. So Satan was what? Satan was cursed to crawl on his belly all the days of his life. Okay? Matthew chapter 16, verse 23. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Verse 14 in Genesis 3 again. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Very first prophecy of our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, yes. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. That's not Mary, by the way. The woman there is reference unto Israel. Okay? Prophecy of Israel. Alright? 
and between her seed and thy seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Verse 19. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken. For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. So mankind is dust, and Satan has been cursed to eat dust all the days of his life. <laughs> Verse 3 in Ezekiel 19, And she brought up one of her whelps. It became a young lion. And it learned to cast the prey. It devoured men. Verse 6, And he went up and down among the lions. He became a young lion and learned to catch the prey and devoured men. First Peter chapter 5. Then we're done. 1 Peter chapter 5. Oh, and by the way, bless your heart too. And I do mean that in the southern way, you imbecile. When even my greatest enemy has enough sense to rebuke you, that's that's the part that kind of really, I mean, when I discovered this devil, uh, of course, I, it's like, oh, really? But even my greatest, deadliest enemy has enough to be like, this guy's obvious. Yeah, that's, that's sad. That's sad. But 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 on to verse 10. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober. Be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, antichrist, to replace and to be against. As a roaring lion. Trying to imitate, copy, hmm. replace. Because when our Lord comes back at his second coming, he's going to be the lion of the tribe of Judah. And that is what basically started all of this and me finding this wicked devil. Okay? Hopefully, Lord willing, there will come a, a, a good a video on the lion of the tribe of Judah. But that's for the future. But that's how this started. Okay? Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And he's devouring people. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, Let's read verse 11. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And, uh, a man that isn't... Here, let me, let me... I put this in the, the comment section of the previous video, but I'm going to quote it here in this video. Okay? I'm very well aware of how these devils operate. We mustn't be ignorant of their devices, brethren. And with this devil, uh, Titus chapter 3, verses 9 on to verse 11. But avoid, avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition rejects knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself. You brood of viper, vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell?
Dear saints, and those of you who are, um, who are aware of this devil, watch out. Watch out for a guy like this. This guy is very subtle. He is very dangerous. And he's going to hell. He's not saved. And his job as someone who is working for the Vatican, is he a Jesuit? I have no idea. I would not be surprised. But I have no idea. But the fact that he is covering up for the Vatican and distorting, lying about Revelation chapter 17, that, you know, if there's anything as a proverbial, you know, red flag to any of you, that ought to be it. So that's going to be it for this little video. We will see you in the next video. Bye.